Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something that I have been putting off, to be honest. For those of you that follow on me on Instagram, you'll know that I had recently, or I discussed recently, that I was going through a bit of uh, journal hell. That was related to my memory keeping system and my media journal. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you'll know, and let me actually... How about I don't talk while I'm away from the mic? So those of you who have been watching my videos for a while will know that I was doing my memory keeping and my media journaling this year in my paper test B6. I was really struggling with my paper test B6 and I will get into why that was and a lot more detail in my journaling and planner update that I'm going to be filming for the end of February. Yeah, because I'm planning on doing like a 60 day update on my systems, kind of show you where everything has, you know, led to in the past couple of months in comparison to how it started, which there has been a lot of changes. <laughs> oh, Lordy Lord. It's been, it's been rough, right? And I think that a lot of us would agree that certain moments in our journals and planners become iffy when we are going through certain things in our real life. Things have been really busy and there's been certain moments of intense stress that have led me to kind of pivot. And also you make all of these plans and these ideas and they're all in theory. You actually live in it day by day and you realize, you know, maybe I was being too optimistic or maybe I wasn't being optimistic enough. Maybe I need more space. Maybe I need less space. You don't know about these things, about these details until you actually do them, right? You only know how a system has treated you in the past. You don't know how a system will treat you in the future until you execute. And, you know, sometimes when you execute, you realize that changes need to be made and that's just part of life. No shame in it. So, so far as I'm recording this, I have done the unboxing or in unboxing, because these are my traveler's notebooks. They are not new, I bought these last year. And I cut them. I kind of put them on the side because I wasn't gonna use traveler's notebook as I had planned in 2024. But <laughs> here we are in both of them. And um, I already drafted up an idea for how to use both of these. This one is pretty concrete. I know exactly what I'm doing with this one. But then yesterday, as I'm recording this, it is February 20th, a Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. I had, honestly, what can only be described as a meltdown yesterday as I was trying to decide what to do with this one, which is basically going to be housing, again, my media journal, my memory keeping system. The amount of crises that I have been experiencing regarding my memory keeping and media journal has been, is crazy, right? Because I, for the most part, really enjoy it. And me saying that I'm going to talk about this in the update and just going on a rant now, I'm, I'm probably... <laughs> Oh my goodness, your girl just likes to talk. But I was really happy with certain things about the paper test designs. I really liked the layout that I was doing. There were certain things that just were not working for me in terms of the planner itself and things that I wasn't using. And so there was a certain level of discontent. And so I stopped using that because I decided that I was gonna move into the traveler's journal system. But then it's been two weeks and I haven't moved into the traveler's notebook system. And there's certain things that were like not clicking. So in my brain, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna go back into my weeks. Cause I just did the media journal flip, which I'll link up above if you haven't watched it yet. I did my 2023 media journal flip, which was in my weeks. And I was thinking about how content I was in that and how happy I was in it. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just go into the weeks, right? But there's certain things about the weeks that I felt didn't serve me in the way that I wanted to start memory keeping and media journaling. And so yesterday I sat down to brainstorm, kind of figure it out. I went through my paper test and I was like, man, I really did enjoy some of these layouts. Why did I stop doing this? And I'm one of those people that always says, you know, there's nothing wrong with a blank page. And I try to practice what I preach, but yesterday I was not having it. I was looking at those blank pages and thinking about, you know what, let me just go back into the paper test V6. I was seeing those blank pages and I was like, no, I can't go back in here because all these blank pages are in there. And I was like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I was having such a bad time yesterday. Like I was spiraling. I was so in my head about it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know that I also started kind of like delving into the idea of doing my media journal and memory keeping inside a rings planner. So I got a, a rings planner and I'm pretty much doing an update for you right now. So I got a rings planner and also today is not a good hair day and my hyperpigmentation is all over the place. We did not put any makeup on. Again, authenticity people. This is a Portobello Filofax in a personal size. I did spend a little too much money on the dividers before even starting things. And I think I had seen a video by, I think it was Sam's Plans or Sam Plans. I love her videos, especially like her talking videos where she's not really doing much, but she's just like talking about certain things that happen within the community. And you know, she's right now doing a, a no spend, low spend, and um, I'm really enjoying her videos. But I remember watching a video of hers a few weeks ago, a few months ago, and she was talking about what to do 
when you're thinking about jumping into a new system. And one of her tips was, can you afford to buy all of the accessories and all of these things, right, that comes with a new system? And I could have done what Bronte did for her rings, which is so smart, right? She's using things that she has and not spending a bunch of money on things that are extra because she's trialing out the rings. Well, your girl is an impulse buyer at heart. Like, have any of you, this might be a unique experience to me, right? But I have always been one of those people that's like really conscientious about money and not overspending and all of this stuff. But after 2020 and 2021, like, have any of you become shopaholics after the pandemic? Like, is that, <laughs> there has to be a pipeline, right? Like, there has to be a pipeline from being like super conscientious and like a very like frugal person to an overspender after the pandemic someone someone validate <laughs> someone validate this thought process that I have <laughs> anyways so I dabbled with the idea of doing my media journal in here and at first like media journal commonplace type system and at first I really liked that but that soon became overwhelming and I'm thinking of using this for something else but it's in the back burner for now so yesterday as I was having the spiral, -da 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 -da, I just like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, having a meltdown. I finally decided, no, let's tie the back. What did I like about the paper test B6? Um, what was not working for me? What would I like to do in this? And one of the things that was kind of holding me back is that I didn't have an insert to trial out a uh, like layout because I don't want to ruin one of the new inserts that I bought. But then I remembered that I have my media companion from 2023 that isn't finished. So I just decided to take one of the back pages and trial out a few different possible layouts and see whether I like them. And I did. So all of that long winded conversation to say we're going to move into me setting up or decorating some of the inserts and finalizing the setup. I'm basically going to be transferring in all of the information in my paper test B6 into my traveler journal insert. So I'm going to finish setting this up and I'll give you a quick tour of what it is that I'm going to be using them for. I've kind of talked a little bit about it here, but I'll go into more detail as I'm flipping through it for this one and this one. So yeah, little rant is over. I think we're ready to go into the next part of the video. So this one is going to be my uh, memory, memory keeping system and media journal system. I'm going to steal um, Jess's term for her notebook, uh, memory keeper, her life archives is what she calls it. Um, Jess from over at Planned by Jyla. I'm going to steal that and call this my life archives. Love that name. <laughs> so I'll be using that. And then this one is going to be a sort of commonplace um, inspo brain this is like my 
creative I'm not sure what to call this but I'll, I'll I'll get into what this is so this is what I'm going to be using so this first insert is um kind of like a brainstorming insert so essentially it's where I do uh, mind maps or um, if I need to work something out I will do that in here whether that is work related not work related but um like YouTube related or uh, business related so like for example you can see here I was trying to brainstorm what to do with my monthly spreads when I was having my breakdown and here's me <laughs> attempting at maybe doing it in the ring so that's just one example and then just stuff from the website some ideas for patreon um, when I was doing my patreon versus Substack mind mapping um, shop name so basically it's just me doing all my brainstorming in here so that's what that is. And then this one is my commonplace journal. Now, something that I did want to talk about in terms of commonplacing, right? And in the way that I'm doing commonplacing in this specific journal, I am a writer um, and I am attempting to get better with my writing and kind of focus on that this year. So for me, this commonplace is more a place of inspiration. It's a place where I collect words. It's a place where I collect maybe art as well um, and interact with that. And I am, I stole a bit of... Um, um, an idea that I saw when I was watching Dozy Ghoul's uh, commonplace videos where she's using the um, blue to write when she's interacting with the text. So I'm doing that and I don't really have a rhyme or reason yet to when I do red or blue. Or at least not in a way that I can explain. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's that. And then something that I do that I've been doing since last year, and it's reminiscent of how I work on Tumblr, because Tumblr is like my original commonplace um, system, to be honest, uh, is I do the type and then I tag it. And essentially the tags I'll later come in at the end of the book and I will index everything. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I have to do a backlog. This is just some stuff that I moved in from my paper test b6 but i still need to fill this in with some of the stuff from my 2023 media journal that i want to move into here and still carry it around um but yeah so this one is what i'm using as my commonplace and then this one is where i put any notes for uh classes that i take workshops that i take for maybe books uh non-fiction books that i want to take notes in so like for example I was taking, I took a writing course and that's in here. I was watching some videos on videography and took some notes in here. I uh, took a course by Novel Pairings on Patreon for a workshop. And I started doing that in my rings, but since then transferred that onto here. So this is just where I put all of my class notes and workshop notes. So this is essentially like a self-improvement journal, maybe I would say. This is the postcard that I had on my paper test B6. I already moved it in here. Yeah, I would say this is like a self-improvement area, right? Because this is where I brainstorm. This is where I do my common placing. And this is where I do my class notes or like nonfiction notes, like learning notes essentially in here. So yeah, I would call this like kind of like my self-improvement journal. I think that would, that would work. So that's what's going to be in this one. And I was not the like the biggest fan of the camel. I definitely prefer the the dark brown. Um, but after putting this patch on and making this my kind of common commonplace system, I've I really liked that. I really liked being in here. So that's nice. I was um, thinking of maybe buying an olive, but I'm glad I talked myself out of buying another TN. <laughs> okay, and so now here my media journal and memory keeping or my life archives thank you jess um and then um some charms that my sister gave me from when she went to japan for bakugo and deku again from my hero academia and then in here we have um the pouch where i keep all of my stickers or not all of my stickers but just the ones that i'm using more most recently this is a sticker that i have to put on my laptop uh reminds me it's not Marceline and Princess Bubblegum, but it reminds me of them. This is from Flesh PNG. I am one of the, uh, their patrons. Um, okay, and then this is going to be my... I actually really do like how this one came out. This one's going to be my daily kind of like memory keeper. So let me bring my paper test so I can show you an example of what that'll look like, what that used to look like in here. 
right? So you can see that I had a column and I would write in the columns where I would TLDRs or like little highlights and then also what I was watching or reading and then um, the days as they went by and any information on there. In my journaling update, I will do a more thorough flip through of this. Um, but essentially that is what's going to get moved into this journal along with the media log, which I had started doing. Let's see, it was not this week. Kind of like this, right? Where it's a, a dedicated page. And I also did that for this week. So you can see that. So that's gonna be living inside of this one. And then the, and then I have the other end of um, the plastic pouch. I have um, my pencil board. I can't show you this side <laughs> because I have a Polaroid of some of my best friends in here and for privacy reasons, I don't wanna show you that. So we'll just move over to this side and then I have another Bakudeku playing card. I have a, um, a gloomy card from Megan Rhiannon and a character card from KDA. And then there's a post to here that I have to I have to transfer into either my commonplace or into a text on my typewriter or something. I just have it here to remind myself. Um, it says fluir sin fin, fluir sin un fin, más que fluir, and that is from a quote that I saw when I was watching a YouTube video. I can't remember the name of the content creator right now, but I will link them down below. They have amazing videos. I love them. Um, and then I have a craft folder and then a craft insert. Craft insert, and this insert is basically going to be for all of my um, kind of like art spreads that I'm going to be doing for the different pieces of media that I'm looking at, kind of more artistic collage type spreads, similar to what I used to do in my media journal back in the day. And uh, do I want to show you that? Hold on. And I'll go more in depth on this. This is my 2022 um media journal which is <laughs> so empty but um so like for example this is a uh, an example of a spread i did for my liberation notes uh, and i think i have an example in here yeah of 39 all right so more creative more collage i don't think i have any other spreads in here honestly i think i just have those two but um yeah and then also kind of similar to what i did when i was planning on using my rings so let's see yeah so you can see i did this one digitally and printed it out um it's more of an artistic type of spread than just um writing so things like that is what i'm going to be doing in this craft one and i'm not sure if i'm going to stay in a craft folder but i i wanted to try it out so we'll see about that and then um i forgot to mention that this is a blank insert because I wanted the uh, flexibility of being able to write. That's one of the things that I was kind of struggling with with the paper test B6 is that I was being too precious with it and I tend to be a little messy sometimes. So like for example, you can see that there's a lot of structure in this spread, for example, right? But this one is more all over the place. Not to say you can't write like this in a graded insert, but I wanted a blank insert because I had really enjoyed um, the blank insert that I was using for when I was taking class notes, I really enjoyed using it. So I wanted to try it out. Plus I really love the cream paper more than anything. I love the cream paper. And I, if they had a grid cream paper, then I would have gotten that. But yeah, I'm gonna try out this one and see how it goes. And um, everything is fluid. And that's kind of like what I what I enjoy about the Traveler's Notebook is that there's room to, to grow. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed that. And before I close out, since I did mention this in my earlier little, so this is my 2023 media companion that I didn't finish. And so I just wanted to show you kind of that I did like a little testing and then I tested out a few different ideas for spreads and just, just like a random notes. And you can see that I'm like writing on the side and I did use my pencil board to um, look at the grid so I could still write in straight lines if I wanted to and then just disregard it if I didn't. So that's kind of like what I did to be able to test out whether I liked what I was going to do in here or not. And I did. So yeah, 
I next up is just transferring over everything that I did in my paper test V6 into this insert and see kind of like where that leads me. Um, I'm hoping that I can kind of have one per quarter, but I guess we will see what happens. Something else, I don't know if you, I don't think I mentioned it. Something else I do is I do number my inserts. So is it tedious? A little bit, but also I just put a podcast in the background or a journal with me video and do that. So it's not a big deal. So thank you so much for joining me on this video. I tried to keep it short, so I did a lot of cuts um, because it's not really a journal with me. It was just a setup and I didn't want to have it to be super long because I do have a lot of longer videos in um, my backlog. And I know some of you prefer shorter ones. So I wanted to make sure that I also catered to that. So thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.